Hey y'all, it's your girl Viva La Morena and we're back with another video. Yes, yes, yes. So this video is, is going to be another empties video, but this is going to be a candle empties. So I got them right here. So during, sorry y'all, during the time that I had left for those three weeks that I was doing a lot around the house and stuff like that, I was also burning my candles. Yes, yes, yes. So I burned one, two, three, four, five, six candles. Well, five, because one of them, one of them I had already burned. And for some reason, I thought I had threw it out and I didn't. I still found it. Um, so I was burning my candles. I had some old candles that I was trying to get rid of already, like get, get through them. So I started doing that and I did enjoy them. And one of the ones that I really, really enjoyed was lavender and vanilla. Yes, this is the old white barn packaging of lavender and vanilla. So this one came out in 2021. And the scent on this one is like really, really good. Mm. So the scent notes on this one are lavender blossom, creamy vanilla, white woods and sugared musk. Mm, it is so good but then towards the end i know there's like a lot of wax left right there but for some reason towards the end it was just it was smelling a little rancid for me so i needed to stop it but i did enjoy this candle and i will definitely purchase this candle again i don't have this candle anymore this was the only lavender vanilla i had I did enjoy it. It really relaxed me. I burned this one in my room, in my bedroom. And again, I would purchase it again. Okay. I'm just going to put them over here. Another one that I enjoyed very much was Tiki Beach. Yes, this is a really good scent. I do have the repackage on this one um, for this year. So this one is Warm Vanilla Musk Orchid Toasted Coconut. So this is how it looks inside. This one smells really, really good. and But again, towards the end, it was smelling a little rancid for me. So this one also came out in 2021. Like I said, I was trying to get through the candles that were a little bit old. And I did. So I don't know, towards the end, it was just smelling a little rancid for me. So I had to stop it. Otherwise, I did enjoy this candle, and I will always purchase Tiki Beach. You know, this is like classic Bath and Body Works. Um, oh, yeah, this is the one that I thought I had threw away, and I didn't. So, I think I talked to you guys about this candle. This is Winter Pear, Winter Pear Forest. I had talked to you guys about this candle, I think, a month or two ago. How I did enjoy this candle, but... It didn't project all the way up to my living room. Like I had burned this candle in my kitchen. Oh, it smells so it still smells really good. I had burned this candle in my kitchen, but it didn't extend to the living room. Like I couldn't smell it. Like when I sat in the living room, I couldn't I couldn't smell this candle. For some reason, when I went to the kitchen, that's the only time I smelled it. So yeah, I feel like it didn't. It didn't give what it was supposed to give. No. So I had to stop it. And then it, it was just the flames were getting too high towards the end. So yeah, it needed to go. But otherwise, it is a great scent. And if it, come, if it comes back this year, I might just purchase one. Because I did enjoy this scent very much. I just wish it would project it better. Okay. Okay. Another one that I did like a lot and I burned it all the way down was Vanilla Balsam. This one is so good. This one is from 2022. Mm, it smells so good. It smells just like Christmas. Christmas all over again. So the set notes on this one are Balsam Fur, Frosted Vanilla, Snow Capped Pine Needles. It smells so good and the packaging is pretty so pretty the lid has like the stars it's so pretty i enjoyed this candle very much if this candle comes back for the holiday season i will definitely get it that is vanilla balsam yes so the next two candles are pumpkin apple this packaging is everything look at that lid loving this lid so this one is from 2021 also 
um this lid is so pretty y'all if you guys can see that pr that pretty lid i really enjoyed this candle but also towards the end it was just smelling mm -mm, rancid for me like i was like no and as soon as i smell that rancid smell i don't want to burn the candle anymore so the scent notes on this one are pumpkin i'm sorry red delicious apple fall pumpkin fresh ground cinnamon and clove buds this is a very classic bath and body works fall candle and it smells really good wow it smells just like fall i do enjoy this candle very much and i love this packaging this packaging is very pretty you know very fallish i enjoyed this candle very much but again towards the end it was just giving me that bad smell that i don't enjoy and your girl had to stop it yes and last but not least, this one was a candle that really struggled for me. I'll put the box right here. This candle struggled so much. So this is Tis the Season. Beautiful packaging. Y'all, the scent notes are rich red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. So this candle is actually really good. But it was also smelling. I had to stop it. I even tried to scoop it out and failed. Um... If you guys can see see that stuff, it smelled so bad towards the end. I needed to stop it too, but otherwise I did enjoy the candle. Will I purchase it again? Probably not because I do have one from last year that came in that beautiful ceramic um, packaging, like the one from Feliz Navidad, that packaging. So I don't think I will, I will purchase it again this year. But this one was really good. It was just towards the middle. Um, towards the middle. Um, it started smelling bad and it was, you know, getting discolored. And it was just I wasn't happy about it. So I needed to stop it. So y'all, that was it for my candles um from 2021 and 2022 that I really wanted to finish up. And I did. Um so yeah, I will. I did start to burn some 2023 candles, but those I didn't keep. I ended up throwing them out when I when I finished them. Um, I don't remember which ones they were, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head right now. But right now, I am finishing up the spring three wick candle, and that one smells really really good. And I think by tomorrow it'll be the last burn, and that is it. So y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. It seems like a lot of people are into these empties. So I maybe plan on doing some empty videos. I am going to do a giveaway. You know, I forgot to grab the candle, but I do have the candle here in a bag. Give me one second, guys. One second. Um... I had put it in a bag. I had put it in a box and then I forgot where I put it. So this candle right here, which is Laundry Day. Oh, it smells so good. Mm, it smells so good. It smells it smells like clean clothes, clean laundry. It smells so good. This is my favorite candle of all time. And I'm gonna do a giveaway. So this one is fresh air, crisp eucalyptus, and soft leather. Oh my God, when I tell you, every time I smell this candle, this candle takes me to a whole nother level. It's just, uh, I can literally smell this all day and I will never get sick of it. And the way it projects in your house, oh my God, it smells so good. So y'all, this is the giveaway that I'm doing. This is my favorite candle of all time. I will never, never, never stop buying this candle. I actually only had two left, which was this one and one more that I have. Um, those are, no, I have two, actually. I'm sorry. I have two. I had three. I'm giving this one away and I have two left. And I'm okay with that because, again, we're not overbuying. Remember that? We're not overbuying. 
Um, I can't stop smelling it. So yeah, I'm gonna give away this three wick candle to a subscriber that can guess. Very easy. If you've been watching me for the past seven months now, seven months, yeah, seven months, eight months, you should know things about me <laughs> that I have shared. So, simple question, easy, easy, very easy. Whoever answers it first is going to win this candle. Yes, yes, yes. Whoever answers it first is going to win this candle. Okay, the question is, what is my YouTube name, Viva La Morena? What inspired me to name myself Viva La Morena? What inspired me for me to name myself Viva La Morena? That is the question. Whoever answers it first, this is for you. This is for you. This is for you. Thumbnail. So this is for you. Whoever answers this first, this is for you. My name, Viva La Morena, was inspired by what? Simple. All right, guys. So that is it for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed my two videos. I really hope my videos upload fast tonight because lately they've been taking all day. So yeah, thank you for watching guys and have a good night and remember, be kind, be humble, and stay blessed. Also, do what makes you happy. Bye guys. Good night. Bye. Chaucito.